So on my main channel, I have only show you guys how to solve this awesome Queen T equation and we did it with a special way. Let's actually multiply this equation by x minus 1. Awesome. Here, let's just do this by factor by grouping. So here we go. Let's go ahead and just group the first three terms and then the last three terms. From here, we can factor out x to the third power and then we'll just get x squared plus x plus 1 left. And then right here, we will have a factor of a 1, like this. And then this right here is still how it is. x squared plus x plus 1. And all in all, we still have equal to 0. Now we see that they are in common, so we can factor that out. And then we have that x third power plus 1. And they are still equal to 0. So now we can just put this to be 0. x squared plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Or... This right here can also be zero, right? So we'll also have x squared, uh, third power plus one equal to zero. Yeah, so we will just continue. From here, we can do it by the quadratic formula. So let's go and do that. Because in that video, I already show you guys how to do this by factor, no, uh, completing a square. So um, quadratic formula here. Anyway, negative b, which is one. So we have negative one and then plus or minus square root of b is 1 and then minus 4 ac a is 1 and c is 1 so it's pretty much minus 4 1 minus 4 inside we get negative 3 and then all in all we divide it by 2 times 1 which is just 2 but this is negative 3 so we will just put an i on the outside so we have x equals negative 1 plus or minus i times square root of 3 all over 2 and that's what we have and in fact these two values corresponds to two of the trick values, or maybe the e to the sum power with i, you know, in that video. But I'm going to let you guys think about what that is. But for the algebra aspect, this will be it. Now, for this, x to the third power plus 1 is equal to 0. Do not just minus 1 on both sides and then say x is equal to negative 1. That is only one solution. Let's find out all solutions because we have used complex number over there already. So let's do the same here. So to do so, we are going to factor it like this. Look at this as x to the third power plus 1 to the third power. And then we can just go ahead and say x plus 1 times x squared and then minus this times that which is x and then minus 1 to the second power which is 1. So that's what we have. And that's equal to 0. Alright, now we can just continue and then we see that we will have to put this to be 0. So we have x plus 1 equal to 0. So that means x is equal to negative 1. So in fact, we have already seen two of the solutions from that video, right? Like this one is the good level and this is the great level. Yeah, and now this is like the other version of that. But anyway, oh sorry, this right here should be a plus. Yeah. So anyway, the factor should be x plus 1 times x uh, squared minus x plus 1. Yeah, sorry about that. So right here, let's just go ahead and finish it. x squared minus x plus 1 equal to 0. That means x has to be, again, you just use the quadratic formula, negative, negative 1, like this, and then plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared is 1, minus 4 times this and that. It's again going to give us negative 3 inside, all over 2. And then again, we can do the same thing like that. So x is equal to 1 plus or minus i times the square root of 3 all over 2. So again, we have a total of 5 solutions. And once again, they correspond to the expression that we had last time and also some trick values that uh, we, we, we end up with last time. If you want to see more videos like this, check out my playlist over there.